This is part two of a two-part discussion on gigahertz signal integrity applications and how microwave office uh, can be used to solve some of these problems. In part one, we discussed the problems. Here in part two, we're going to talk about uh, how microwave office and the AWR product line can help solve some of these problems. First, it's important to understand the spectrum of uh, signal integrity problems. Uh, signal integrity traditionally has been for applications in the tens or hundreds of megahertz. And in this region, uh, post layout analysis tools from Mentor, Sigrity, Cadence uh, provide adequate coverage for the types of problems you may find in, in uh, this uh, frequency regime. For problems above one gigahertz, as we discussed in part one, there's uh, two major problems. One is the actual modeling of the interconnects, and then part two, or the second part of the problem, is the simulation of those interconnects, where we have uh, signal content that could be well into the tens of gigahertz. The models and the simulators need to be able to handle this uh, sort of um, broadband capability. Traditional signal integrity tools just don't cut it in this region. So why gigahertz models? Well, uh, for more information on this, uh, see part one. But in short, um, gigahertz models, by their very nature, are broadband. Uh, RF microwave design has tended to include signals or the consideration of signals which uh, are much broader in their frequency spectrum than traditional signals. Moreover, the type of phenomena that they model, um, distributed uh, or coupled phenomena, uh, really lend themselves well to signal integrity issues in this regime. And this is regardless of whether you're doing a time domain or frequency domain simulation. So uh, harmonic balance is a simulation technique, uh, unlike SPICE, which uh, solves the uh, circuit equations by looking at the energy at each frequency and then uh, accounting for all that energy in the circuitry. Um, because of the way that uh, harmonic balance works, it's very good at looking at signals where we have very large discrepancies in frequencies for a multi-tone signal. So if we have a carrier at one frequency and a data rate at another frequency, harmonic balance can handle this uh, very, very quickly. Um, and it's very good at very broad band uh, signals as well. So we can use uh, harmonic balance when we're designing our interconnects to tune and optimize uh, eye diagrams, for example, highly nonlinear simulations very, very quickly. Uh, we can reach in and start changing the parameters of our interconnects and see immediately how the eye diagram may be affected. Of course, these are ideal signals uh, for a, a square wave or pseudo random bit stream. And uh, when we want to look at the more detailed aspects of how the driver and the receiver are working, if we were to switch to an encrypted H spice, for example, uh, then harmonic balance might not be appropriate. But for just getting the um, performance of the interconnects uh, in a somewhat ideal situation during early design time, uh, consideration of the interconnects. Harmonic balance is ideal because of our ability to tune and optimize. Speaking of uh, HSPICE, uh, AWR's uh, signal integrity solution has HSPICE built right into it. It's not an afterthought. It's combined right into the environment. So all the great features that uh, people know AWR for, the usability, the ease of use, and the uh, innovative um, signal integrity uh, applications such as ACE and uh, Axiom will work directly with HSPICE. Uh, we're able to send information directly to HSPICE, and one of the key things that we do is enforce passivity and causality uh, directly on any data that's being sent to HSPICE. Um, so we can get very, very efficient simulations, whether it's for an IC, a PCB, a module, or a combination of all these things. What about EM analysis? Well, AWR has something called the EM socket, which allows us to plug in nearly every EM solver available in the industry today. Um, the combination of the EM socket as the gateway to these EM solvers with the ability to enforce cause, uh, causality and passivity on the data we're sending uh, creates simulations that are up to 20 times faster than just sending uh, the data as S parameters to HSPICE alone. So very, very efficient uh, simulation. Uh, what about some of the usability features that people know AWR for? Well, the extract flow is a very, very powerful capability. Uh, if you want more information about this, I encourage you to see some of the other videos that we have on this. But essentially what extract does is it allows you to provide schematic driven EM analysis. So as I talked about earlier with the harmonic balance, if we're tuning and optimizing on various uh, parametrically defined parts of our interconnect, let's say the spacing on a differential strip line, I can have the environment directly take that parametric definition and create an EM analysis for me on the fly and then put it back into my PRBS 
uh, harmonic balance eye diagram simulation all automatically without having to stop and cut and paste structures to an EM document, start my EM solver, uh, bring back those S parameter results, and then somehow stitch together a schematic with a very large um, S parameter file. Um, all this is done automatically, and so it allows us to, from the schematic, run EM analysis and still tune and optimize. So it's a very powerful feature, uh, huge time savings when uh, looking at uh, SI in terms of both the design and a post layout analysis uh, methodology. Uh, ACE is another great feature which save uh, tons of time. Um, what ACE does is it uh, it analyzes the metal and creates the schematic that you would have created if you had all the time uh, and uh, patience and um, lack of error <laughs> in creating uh, a schematic from the material. So so uh, basically what you're what you're looking at here is uh, taking the layout and then from it finding all the coupled line structures, whether it's on a single layer or uh, throughout a, a multi-layer board, then finding all the microstrip lines and finding all the bends and the vias and inserting capacitors for crossovers and then creating this enormous net list uh, describing all the interconnect using the very same broadband models that you would use if you had created the schematic yourself. Many of these models have built in uh, EM solvers in them, whether it's a method of moments or FEM solver, so you can get extremely high accuracy up to and beyond 10 gigahertz. Uh, better yet, it's thousands, if not tens of thousands of times faster than EM. So when you're doing uh, initial post layout analysis, uh, it's very powerful to give you an idea about what's going on and to section off your uh, your design to see what you may want to look at in more detail with a full-blown EM solver. It's great for what-if analysis, it's great for post-layout analysis. It's a, it's a fabulous tool that really speeds things along. Um, and one of the EM solvers you may want to use is Axiom. Uh, Axiom is great. It scales tremendously, especially uh, as you get into larger and larger numbers of unknowns that you would encounter with multi-layer designs or very long structures, as I'm showing here, a differential strip line. Um, it's gridless. It's automatic hybrid meshing gives you a mesh that uh, is uh, kind of denser towards the edges so you can capture the uh, current and uh, more, uh, not so dense or sparser towards the center where we have uh, less current and less charge. And there's 3D thick metal support. Uh, there's speed, there's accuracy. Axiom's a great complement to both the extract flow and to ACE uh, because of its high accuracy and speed. So it's very, very powerful in the overall SI flow. And again, one of the nice things about the AWR design suite uh, in microwave office is this ability to tune and optimize, um, reach right down into that unified data model and be able to tune and optimize on things, whether we're doing linear analysis, just looking at S parameters, whether we're doing harmonic balance or whether we're driving spice. We have that high interactivity uh, for both the design and the analysis portion of the flow. Um, one of the other things you can do with AWR because of our ability to use encrypted HSPICE is you can use a, a Xilinx Vertex 5 kit provided by Xilinx and do some backplane and daughter board analysis. Uh, on our website, we have a, a nice uh, white paper on this uh, developed by Redwire Enterprises where we're doing multi gigabit serial links based on the Xilinx Vertex 5, not only simulating the, the backplane interconnects. Uh, differential strip line, the vias, but also the connectors uh, that connect up the uh, daughter cards to the motherboard. I'm um, looking at things like um, the signals coming directly out of the Vertex 5 using the um, uh, encrypted HSPICE and then looking at uh, through those interconnects what uh, what the receiver would see. Uh, so this is uh, provided uh, courtesy of uh, Xilinx. And then finally, AWR Connected is a new addition to the AWR SI family. What this allows us to do is work directly with Expedition and Board Station and have information go back and forth uh, between the two, directly connecting the database uh, to database, not having to worry about issues with uh, library parts. The uh, AWR Connected automatically creates the library in AWR based on your mentor information directly. Now, again, because AWR focuses on a much higher frequency regime than traditional SI tools, we're talking about just a few traces here, your high-speed digital uh, serial links or uh, maybe uh, a single serial channel that's uh, operating at uh, 10 or 20 gigabits. If you'd like more information about any of this capability, AWR Connected, the Extract Flow, ACE, Axiom, or how AWR simulates with HSPICE, or about the Vertex 5, I encourage you to go to awrcorp.com or contact your AWR sales professional.